Greetings, my precious pugs. Today we are reviewing Double Pug Switch, a game that comes to us from developer and publisher, The Polygon Loft. I played this one on Steam. It is also going to be available on the Xbox, PS4, Switch, and mobile. This one is a 2D platformer where you have to be very quick with your reflexes. The setup is basically that there is some sort of scientist who is working on these vials for portals and a cat knocks over the vials and opens up some sort of portal and the dog and the cat get sucked in and you are the pug who has been tasked with finding the cat, getting out of the portal and saving the day. The dog's name is Otis, which I really hope is a shout out to the movie Otis and Milo, which was one of my favorites as a child. And basically, from the minute the actual gameplay starts, you are running. There's no stopping this dog. There is no pausing. You basically just go, you can jump, and you can switch dimensions. So this is essentially some on-rails, really precise platforming that you have to perform here. It starts off really simple. You're jumping over some spikes, switching dimensions to avoid obstacles, and getting to the portal at the end. There are checkpoints in between between, usually two per level with a fair amount of obstacles in between so you constantly feel like you are being challenged. There are no difficulty settings here so you kind of get what you get with this one. You can also collect different types of coins along the way. There are the basic gold coins which you can use to purchase hats and there are also some special purple coins that you can use to purchase rarer hats. Apart from those collectibles, there are also some power-ups that you can use, one that makes you jump higher, one that makes you go real fast. Then at the end of each section of levels, there is somewhat of a boss battle with the cat. Apparently in this other dimension, the cat is evil. This was super fun and addicting at first, but once the difficulty ramped up, wow, it is really, really challenging. I am a lover of platformers and pugs, but this one is just a little bit too challenging for me. It requires this amount of precision that I'm just not capable of at the end of the day. And that's usually when I'm playing my games. I'm playing them to unwind and kind of relax. And this was just a little bit much for me. I could have used some difficulty settings or a little bit of forgiveness with the jumps. I didn't want to stop playing this game, but I reached a certain point where the challenge level was just a little bit too much for me. The art style of this game is absolutely adorable. It definitely looks like a cartoon I would have watched as a kid. Super colorful, adorable animals. I love how the dog animates with his little tongue sticking out. I particularly enjoyed putting some different hats on my pug once I earned them. It added this bit of cute factor that I really enjoyed. There was a good bit of variety and different colors between the worlds, so it didn't feel like too much of the same thing either. I did enjoy the soundtrack at first, but my qualm here is that every time you fail, the song starts over, so it feels like it's mocking you at a certain point, especially if you get stuck on a level and it just keeps going over and over and over. <laughs> The soundtrack is mostly electronic in style, though it does change to suit the levels as well, so there is a good bit of variety, but like I said, if you start failing again and again, you're gonna get real sick of it real fast. Overall, the presentation here is really what sucked me into this game. It's just so stinking cute. What's not to like about a pug and a cat and science, but it's, it's just a little bit too challenging for my taste, and there's probably someone out here who loves these type of games, loves the challenge, loves the precise movements that are required to succeed in this, and I get that, that's the draw of it, it's just not for me. Watching the dog die every time it made me feel like I was watching my last brain cell try to function. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out my review of Double Pug Switch. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button below where you can follow all of our reviews and previews that we put out. You can also check out the description box for links to our Discord as well as our merchandise and memberships if you'd like to support us further. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.